I'm a photographer, I guess born and bred. Um, a third of my time is taken up with portrait and commercial photography. About a third of the time I teach photography at um, UWA plus run private workshops and another third of my time I organise photographic tours that go overseas to uh, Egypt and Borneo and Turkey. Photoshop has been around just on 20 years. Just bear in mind that there was a lot of manipulation of images going on before Photoshop was born. All of our cameras these days, autofocus, auto exposure, auto aperture, auto shutter speed, auto colour, everything's auto, sharp lenses. Why aren't we all getting fantastic photographs? Because we've lost sight of two of the, perhaps the main goals. And the first one is the essentials of creativity. We're not thinking about what we're doing. And the second thing is we've lost sight of what the word photo photography means, writing with light. People have lost sight of lighting. The tour bus stops. 40 people get off the tour bus because that's the spot where the little camera sign is. And they get off there and they all hold their cameras up to eye height and go click, all with their wonderful digital cameras. Then they get back on the bus and they wonder why all their photographs look the same. First of all, a good photographer is going to be somebody who is going to be an observer of life. They actually look beyond what is immediately apparent. Whether that be a portrait of a person, whether that be um, a landscape, um, whether that be a macro shot of a, an insect, they're looking beyond just what's immediately apparent. So a good portrait photographer is somebody who's got very good po uh, uh, people skills. They're an observer of human behaviour. They notice idiosyncrasies. They can actually become adjusted, they have empathy with that person. And so a good portrait photographer isn't just going to capture the facade, the face that you or I put on for family and friends and work. They're going to be able to tap into your inner core and find something that's deep down inside. There was a survey done, published on the Gruen Transfer on ABC TV last year. The survey was of the perception that Australian women had of beauty. And something like 93% of Australian women thought they were not beautiful. Not beautiful. The cosmetics companies were rubbing their hands together with glee. But only 34% of French women thought they weren't beautiful. So one of the problems that a lot of photographers have is the very negative perception that Australian women have of themselves. So one of my goals is to try to overcome that resistance or this poor perception. One of the most interesting things is that sometimes when somebody has a negative perception of their idea of beauty, I say, just let's do a practice shoot for five or ten minutes. I'll do that, and before I do anything else, I'll say, just have a look at this. I'll show them the back of the camera. A reaction sometimes, oh, my God, Dale. I didn't realise I was that beautiful. Because they've never seen themselves in that light before. Because nobody has ever photographed them with the light that I've arranged. So as soon as you can break down that barrier and people think that they have got an element of beauty about them. And of course, I've got an inner core belief that all people are beautiful. Even somebody who was at the back of the line when they handed out good looks, I bet I can find something good about them. <laughs>